Uh, hello all, um, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Uh, my name is Bobby Consoli Verma. Uh, I uh, run a UK based investment office uh, and um, we have a, a very broad based uh, approach to investment, meaning that we look at uh, liquids, illiquids, collectibles, passion plays. Uh, within the illiquids bucket, clearly we have the direct investments. Uh, which uh, um, we are very fond of. We, uh, we uh, particularly like directs in the tech space, uh, which is why we're talking to you now. Um, just a uh, brief overview of, of us, and then I wanted to talk about our investment approach uh, and uh, uh, a couple with our history, uh, talk to you a bit about uh, the deal flow that we're looking for, uh, and then just uh, round up with a, a few things that I, I feel like are, are critically important. When, uh, when looking at investors uh, and looking at investments generally. Uh, so a, a bit, bit about us, uh, uh, as I said, we look at uh, the full range of investments. And I think that's really important because the old fashioned approach of looking at a portfolio uh, in a silo fashion is actually uh, old fashioned, it is dated, uh, and you need to consider it as, as, a, as a holistic portfolio, which is how we look at the uh, uh, entire um, uh, group of assets that we own. Uh, and um, what we've uh, um, been focused on initially was uh, UK residential property. Uh, we then branched out into uh, um, uh, a full range of uh, instruments, including uh, structured credit through to uh, listed uh, investments uh, and uh, funds, and then of course, directs. Uh, and so our approach is to change uh, our, the composition of our portfolio to make sure it's fully diversified. Uh, and uh, we've been involved in deals which have been uh, uh, very small, ranging to very large. And, and to put that into perspective, we look at uh, uh, um, seed uh, rounds uh, going up to uh, BC, even, even beyond. Uh, at the moment, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, early stage, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, our uh, history has been that we've, be, we've uh, invested in uh, a range of uh, companies which have gone on to be very successful uh, and they have had trade sales and exits. And the most important thing about that is I feel that you've been, you, you need to have been through the entire life cycle uh, to, have, to really understand what's involved in building a business and, and not just uh, look at it from a fund manager perspective. Uh, so at the moment, we are indeed building our own fintech. Uh, which is called 1FS Wealth uh, Limited, and the platform is called First Wealth. Uh, and um, uh, I think that experience really plays uh, to our advantage, whereby we uh, understand uh, exactly what needs to be done at what stage. And uh, uh, in addition to my investment office hat and, and, and managing uh, um, 1FS Wealth, I also uh, am a non-exec uh, um, advisory board member for Grant Thornton, uh, specifically the financial services group. And I think that uh, uh, big, pre uh, big company uh, participation is also incredibly useful because that uh, uh, method of working at a, at a very high level and an incredibly professional level, uh, again, is something that uh, smaller companies need to uh, understand and adhere to. And, and my, my uh, view always is that a smaller company should be acting as if it's a much larger company, even a listed company, uh, because that imposes a, a good degree of discipline upon the management team. Uh, so what are we looking for at the moment? We're looking for anything in the fintech sector. We uh, particularly like wealth tech and reg tech. Uh, we also do look at prop tech because, our, because of our real estate uh, background. Uh, we're looking for early stage at the moment. Uh, we're looking for anything from uh, um, uh, anything which is uh, revenue generating through to Series A, uh, and uh, that may change. It is a dynamic profile, it depends on how much uh, we manage to uh, invest. We do invest with our own capital. We also invest with uh, other um, family offices uh, pooling together capital. Uh, so it depends on the on the actual deal uh, and. Um, Really, what uh, um, we feel when it comes to investing and uh, and and investment is that the uh, the three key components are really IQ, EQ, 
and then the connections and the networks that the various people have. So I think you've got to have that perfect confluence of those three uh, uh, components. Uh, and um, that's where I feel we score because we actually have uh, the ability to bring those three elements in. And um, I'd be delighted to uh, speak to you. Please do reach out uh, to me on LinkedIn and I look forward to uh, talking. Thank you very much for your time.